Okay guys, I'm out here just like I promised yesterday, bright and early. We're going to do some turtle jugging this pond right here. Except, I don't necessarily use jugs. Let me show you what I do use. Now I got these uh, noodles right here, which are basically the same thing as a jug. Except when you get one, it's actually going to stand up like this. So that if you see one out there bobbing up and down like that, you got one. You better go get it as soon as you can. But yeah, I think I got like five in here yeah i got five or six and today you know i'm just gonna be baiting them up with hot dogs if i come back later today and hot dogs aren't working i'll probably switch to something else but you know i'm actually gonna be checking this thing like three times a day so stay tuned for the checks because they're happening today we're gonna check we're gonna set them down come back about 12 check them rebait them then we'll come back at the end of the day bait them and recheck them and then we're gonna do the same thing tomorrow so the next two days today and tomorrow it's gonna be pretty awesome guys and as soon as we get done setting these turtle jugs then we're gonna go out and set some minor traps and we're just gonna do a whole trapping day and the cool thing about this pond is yeah there's a good chance to get turtles but there's also a good chance to get a giant catfish now no we're not gonna keep the catfish we'll just throw the catfish back in but nevertheless it's a fun experience catching big catfish like that especially on jugs because jugs Jugs are a whole lot different than a rod and reel. They're a whole lot meaner. And now I know a few of y'all are wondering, how does a jug work? There's nothing to set the hook. Well, sort of, but you know, sort of not. I don't know. Here it is, okay? So it's sitting like this. Line runs down to a hook. This hook is where you put your bait. So whenever they pull down on this, the noodle pulls back on them. So it's sort of like the harder they pull, the harder they set the hook in themselves. So it's actually like a really, really, really good hookup ratio. And you know, like I said, we're just using these hot dogs. They're still frozen, so. Oh, but this knife had no problem cutting through it, did it? But anyways, here's our piece. We're going to be using pieces, you know, about like that. Good hook size stuff. And then we're just going to take it, take the hook, run it right through it. Just like that. They're going to have plenty of time to eat it, and I don't have to set any hooks. So, you know, that's perfect. Now, just got to bait up all five of them, just like that. And then go throw them in the pond. Now, to throw them in, this is about as simple as it gets, all right? Just take it. Chuck it out in the middle of the pond. You don't have to get it anywhere special. Just make sure you spread them out across the pond. The turtles will do the work. The turtles will find the meat. That's about it. Now just repeat the process four more times. Bingo. And now we just go waste a little time and do something else, which in our case, we're going minor trapping. And then we'll come back in about five or six hours and you know, check our lines, see what we got. Okay guys, we're down at the creek now. We got an amazing hole right there and an even better hole down there. But guys, we're about to get on some minners, I promise. We've got two nice minner traps, a half a loaf of white bread. So we're about to get on them, I can just tell. Like you can look at the water right here and see those little ripples? Those are all minners. And every now and again, you can look in there and see one flash. And there's nothing to eat these minners because it's not deep enough for bass. The only thing that really eats them is maybe a coon every now and again and maybe a snake. And catching a water snake is actually a really good possibility. That's why I'm actually checking these every two to three hours just to make sure we don't get a water snake and eat all the minners for a whole day. But anyways, we're gonna bait these up with that light bread and shoot far. We're gonna get in there and catch some. Here we go, we're just gonna undo the minner trap for a second, get in our loaf of bread, get about two, three, maybe four pieces of bread. You know what, we'll go for three since we're checking it every now and again. One, two, three, just like that. Lock it up, here's, here's as simple as it gets, guys. We're gonna walk right over there, toss it in the water, and that's it. Here we go. Real time, no cuts. Walk, walk, walk. Over here to a minner hole, which is, you know, right here. Boom. Easy stuff. We're about to toss it in. Toss it in. Right there. I did not just do that. I let go of the rope. Now I got a minner trap in there, and I can't even get down there to get it. Okay, guys, now for the second one. Hopefully I don't just throw it in the creek without holding on to it like the first one. But you know, this one over here, this is a really nice hole. It's a really nice minner hole. You can see them flashing in here like crazy. But yeah, on that last one, I tossed it in thinking my rope was long enough. Apparently not. It jerked the rope right out of my hand and now I don't have anywhere to get to it except just diving straight up in the creek, which I'm not gonna do right now. I'll come back with boots on and then I'll get in there and get it. But right now, It'll be all right. It's in a fairly good spot. Here's where I'm trapping. Right down there. That's a nice little looking waterfall looking outfit. But we got to get right down there and try to get it over in there. This may be a challenge. Okay, so I've sort of came up with a plan. I'm going to get across there, hop around on those rocks over there, and toss it in right there. Try not to get snake bit. Here we go. Try not to die. Try not to die. Okay, okay. 
Now we just gotta keep on going right through there. Now we're in the mineral hole. Mineral's all over this. This is actually fairly shallow water now that I look at it, but you know what? I'm just gonna be simple. I'm gonna drop it right there. That should be good enough. It's right there in a good, it's actually the deepest part. Now they're both set. Now I just legit gotta go home, wait two hours, come back with boots on so that, you know, nothing bad happens. Okay guys, before we get out there and check those traps, I've actually brought you in here to my desk to show you something that most YouTubers are never gonna show their fan base. But this fan base is a little bit different, okay? This right here, this is the Grey Gang. This is Grey Gang material right here. I don't want you guys to go out and tell anybody that, about this, okay? Please don't go out and tell anybody. This is for the Grey Gang only. But here's what I'm about to show you. So a few of y'all were wondering why I changed times from 12 o'clock back to three o'clock. And I'm actually gonna show you why right here. Okay, so this is a chart real-time views, okay? So I'm getting views then and then. That's at 12 o'clock. That right there is about three or four o'clock. So what I figured out is that that's notification squad and that is people who have a job and watch my videos after their work. So what I'm doing now is instead of having notification squad at 12, I've moved notification squad back here to three. That way the whole gray gang can watch it together and possibly within a three hour span. That'll be like 30,000 views in three hours. And another thing that does is let the working people have a chance at notification squad. So it's better all around. It's better for me, it's better for you, it's better for us as a whole as the gray gang. But now that I explain that to you, let's get out there and check those turtle traps. Well, we're back to check these turtle things. I know for a fact we've at least got three things on the line, and I can't see the other two, so we may have got some on every line. But how do I know we got one? Well, I got one there, there, and there that I can see. That one, that one was bobbing when I got here. That one's bobbing right now. And then this one back over here, it's bobbing too. I'll zoom in on it and show y'all. That one right there. See how it's bobbing up and down? That's not the wind doing that. There's something in there. And it's actually, I think it might be hung up in a brush pile, so he might have a little bit of trouble getting him out. Now, I don't have a boat or anything to get in there and get him out. So what I'm actually going to do is I got this bait caster here with this big old treble hook. What I'm going to try to do is snag the either the noodles or the line and bring them in on a rod and reel. Now, the reel I'm using, this is a Pestifun Torrent. This is a new reel I got. I'm actually going to do a whole separate video for it in the future, so be watching for that. But, you know, I got at least three over here. I'm going to get them out. Right here's the first one. Whenever I first pulled up, it was going crazy, but it's stopped now. He's probably just resting here for a little bit. Just going to set my hook out there. Snag it. Missed it. Done hung up on a tree. What about that? Am I done hung? I did, just got here. All right, but anyways, here we go. Cast it out there. Got him. Okay. He ain't got yeah, it is. There's something there. It's a big catfish, though. Not a turtle, but a catfish. We're just going to let him go, though. All right, yep. Here we go. First catfish. We're just going to dump the catfish back in because we're not after catfish. Nice little catfish, but, you know, like I said a hundred times, we're not after catfish. Just going to take him off the hook, toss him right back in where he came from. Now we've got at least two more to do the same exact thing to. Let's go get them. So we got one right here. It's definitely got one on it. And one over there definitely got one on it. So for sure, three out of four has got a fish on it. Here's this one, as you can see it. See it right there? It's stinking swimming away from me. Better hurry up and get him. Try to intersect his path. Got him. Oh man, this is that's a giant right there. That's a good one right there. Oh my goodness. That is a nice one. Hopefully he's a turtle, but he's a catfish. I don't know if I can get this guy in. He's he's strong. I'll get him in. Don't worry about that. Here, come on in, big cat. Come on in. Oh, yeah, this is a nice one right here. This is a really nice one right here. Look what a monster. This guy's a giant hook fish. Oh. The hook came right out of him. I dropped him right there, but... He'll be all right, won't you, bud? Yeah, there he goes. He's fine. Yeah. Now there's another one right there, and we got to get it, too. I actually think this guy's stuck in a brush pile, too, but we're just going to have to try the best we can to get him out. It's not going to be easy, but, hey, I got all day. You know what? Forget that. I'm just going to bring in the whole brush pile. Now that I got the whole brush pile in, it should be a whole lot easier. And then, wham, got him. Yeah, got him. Ah, uh, he ain't no giant. He is mad, though. That's a fact. There he is. 
Now we still got another one, but he's gonna be super hard to get to. We gotta try to anyhow though, that's part of it. Okay, here we are to this one. It's gonna be super hard to get to, just not because it's off the land, but you know, there's a tree right there and I'm gonna have to either go under the branch or over the branch to hook it. And you know, I'm using a treble hook, so pretty high chance to get hung up. Now I just got, I got him. Now I just got to pull him out of the brush pile. That ain't gonna be nothing easy, but yep, got him out. He is a catfish. Yeah, big catfish. Well, he got hunt, he got off. Okay guys, so on four out of the five jugs I set out, I caught catfish on. Now we're not necessarily after catfish, we're mainly after turtles, but hey, I'm not gonna get mad because I just had a lot of fun with catfish, okay? Catfish, they're not what we're looking for, but hey, I'm happy with them. I'm totally happy with them. However, that was with hot dogs. Now I'm not sure that turtles don't like hot dogs. I, th I honestly think that it's maybe just the catfish get an opportunity to eat them first. I'm gonna switch to fat back, which actually floats. I hopefully that the turtles can find it before the catfish do since it floats up top. That's what I'm gonna be switching to, but man, that is crazy. But the day's not over yet either. We get to check it another time. We we gotta check the minor traps twice. We are, go this is gonna be crazy guys. It's a good day and it's only gonna get better. We're back at the creek with the minors. We're gonna check them right now. I do got my big cloggers on. That way, you know, I can get in the water and get that trap that I accidentally, you know, let go. Got my minor bucket, cause we are taking them home to stash them for actually this weekend. But yeah, guys, this weekend, we're actually gonna be floating the river for about two or three days. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put in bank poles, bush lines, stuff to catch catfish on, maybe even a trot line. But yeah, we're catching minners. That's my job, catch the minners. And then we're gonna use the minners for bait for big catfish. So stay tuned, cause the next, I don't know, week and a half of my content, this is gonna be straight fire, guys. I ain't in line. It's gonna be straight up awesome. Okay, now I'm gonna get some water in my bucket. That way the minners don't, whoa, they're just when a snake, guys. That was just a straight up snake. But anyways, like I just said, gonna get some water in here to keep my minners alive. That right there were to be enough. We're not taking them too far. Now we're gonna pull the trap and see what we got. Okay, well, we definitely got some. I believe I count four or five. That's not amazing, but you know, it, it's really not been here long. We got a bunch of those right there. That, that size right there, that's perfect for catfish bait. Some smaller, some bigger. The biggest one being like this right here. Now, since I still got bait in here, I'm actually just gonna set it back, and then I'll be back in about two, three, four more hours to check it again. However, I've actually got boots on now, so I'm just gonna get right in here in the creek and look for a good spot to set one. Now I can go on down the creek right through here and see if there may be a good spot on down the creek a little bit that I've been missing. Now we're just gonna make the trek all the way back over there to the next mineral hole. Hopefully it turns out better than this one, but hey, that's what we're here for. Can't do nothing if you ain't trapping. I can see small minnows around it, you know, looking at it, investigating it, but you know, here's the problem. All right, so up here, it's about uh, eight feet higher than it is down there. And I've got to get down there in that creek to get my minnow trap. So I don't know if I'm going to have to come under the bridge or what, but I don't know. That's part of the fun, trying to figure out what to do, because right now, I don't have a clue. Okay, guys, well, I scouted out that bank over there, and it really just seemed impossible. So if, you know, I'm under the bridge right now. But, you know, it's only about a four-foot clearance, so looks like KG is just waddling under a bridge right now. Just waddling under a bridge. There's some corn. Looks like a big coon's been in here eating corn or something. There's more corn. He's been eating under here for sure. Just waddling under a bridge. That's all. Nothing special. Just trying to make a living trapping minners. Hopefully I don't drop the camera because that'll be a quick $800 gone down the hole. Oh no, oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I about just slipped and lost everything I had, which is not just an $800 camera, but don't forget the $800 iPhone in my pocket either. Oh, this could turn out bad. But on the bright side, I did get my minor trap. Now let's see if we caught anything. Oh yeah, we got about 10 or something right there. Now here's the next question. Where do I set the bucket so I can put those in it without letting all my minners go? That's a good question, guys. That's a good question. Guys, don't ask me how. 
but I got them. Now, if you guys are a professional manor trapper or you do it a whole lot, you may know what this is. Now, I'm not saying I'm a professional. I'm just saying that my uncle is and that I just borrow his stuff without asking. So if you don't know what this is, basically, it's just a big basket. And what we do is we put the basket in the creek. And then we put the minners in the basket. So now this way we can save all of our minners from the whole week, save them up to the end of the week, keep them in there, keep them alive, keep them safe, keep them fed. I mean, I guess we could technically keep them in this bucket till the end of the week, but hey, whenever you got fresh water running in and they got a big old basket like that, it's a whole lot better for the minners. That thing just bit me. I just got bit by a fly. I'm being eaten by a fly, guys. I gotta go roll. Dang. I just got bit by a horse fly. And about Grey Gang, well, yeah, Grey Gang won. It almost had more likes than the video itself. There's the exact comment. It had 52 replies, 1,100 likes, and the video itself only had 1,500. If you ask me, I think that's a done deal. I think y'all are the Grey Gang. Welcome to the gang, guys. This means if you are officially subscribed, you are now part of the Grey Gang, and if you're not part of the Grey Gang, why not? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like this kind of velo, like for real, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me an awesome comment, and we're not even done yet. I know this video is like 16 minutes long right now, but forget it. We're going all out. We still gotta check the turtles. We still gotta check the minners. This day is crazy. It's like it's going on forever, but I don't even care. This is like the best day of my life. We're doing so many fun things. It's never ending. It's hardcore. It's work, guys. I'm stinking tired, but I don't care because I'm working for you guys. It's so awesome. Great gang for life, people. Let's get out there and check the minor traps and turtle traps for the last time today. Okay, guys, we're hitting up our last minor check of the day. You know, hopefully we can get a good payout for the last one of the day, but... You know, we got two traps. These have been here a little bit longer than the first batch had, so we technically should have more minners in this one. But here it is. We're going to pull it up right now and see what we got. And, oh, dang it. We got two. Not the magnum payout I was looking for, but, you know, I still got a minner. One minner is better than no minners. That's a fact. I have a feeling this is going to be a whole lot better. Mainly because I took a peek and I saw some minners in it. But anyways, let's grab it right here and just pull it right up here. Oh, lordy, yes, sir. We caught them in there, son. That's what we're looking for. Them's, them's big chubs, too. Those has actually got some good size to them. Yeah, man. This is a good spot. I'm actually going to reset this spot. This was my last spot of the day. I was actually going to take the traps out. I did take that trap, but to be honest, guys, with this kind of payout like this, hey, I believe I'll just set this again. This will be a spot that we definitely check tomorrow. Sorry guys for like the random tilt, but hey. You know it's a good spot whenever you're catching them this size. That's really good and that's perfect. I mean perfect catfish bait right there. If you're so slimy. Get in there, bud. Get in there. We're actually going to reset that thing. Same spot, same scenario. Hopefully we get the same payout. But, you know, trapping, strapping, whether it's bobcats or minners, you never know what's going to happen, son. Okay, guys, so I just came up here to put my minners in here, and then I saw this fish flopping. Now, I'm honestly really scared to stick my hand in there because fish don't come from the pond over here. There might be a snake right here, a water snake that's been eating him. I'm going to kick around and, uh... Well, I guess it seems there's not a snake around here anymore, but... Dang, he's dead now. That's sad. He might be alive, he may not be. Throw him in, see what happens. Nope, he's still alive, guys. That fish is still alive. I just saved his life. Now I'm honestly not sure whether it's a snake or not. I mean, as soon as I pulled up, there was a little bird that flew out of here. I mean, it was a small bird. It was like that tall. I think it's even like a, maybe a robin or a sparrow. But guys, I don't know. Do birds like that eat fish? I don't know. I mean, it's straight up attacking it, man. It had it way over here out of the water. Whatever it was, son, it's, it's tearing into it. But I just saved its life because... Gray gang for life, man. Gray gang for life. But besides that, we're going to get the minners in this cage so, you know, they can be with their family. Oh, lordy, yes, sir. That is a lot of minners, my friend. That's a lot of minners. Oh, oh, yeah, just like that. Check, make sure there's none in there. 
there's not we're good now guys since this video is like a legit almost 20 minutes long i'm going to end it here i'm sorry guys here's notification squad don't forget tell me what you liked about it don't just comment notification squad but tell me what you liked about it also but guess what guys tomorrow is going to be almost the same thing except we're going to better spots we're trapping more minners it's going to be so much better so guys be sure to stink and come back it's going to be great